What's good everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today, we're back with another episode of Life with the Pearsons. What's good everyone? So today, we are back. And today's gonna be kind of a special episode. Today is the day Kalia gets her life back intact. Um, it's time for her to do so if I say so myself. So pretty much what is going on is um, our girl over here has come to a decision, you know, it's always been back and forth, should she go with him, should she not, should she date someone else, um, just the whole situation and she realized that, going to sleep with that, she really has a good guy and Luca and Luca's a really good guy and even though he's a bit older than her, um, again, he still likes her for her even though he doesn't know her age and is gonna kill him when she finds out but she likes him and even though she's not truthful with him she trusts him more than she would even trust um trust stefan so even though she does like stefan and mainly because stefan was her first love she knew that she realized that she wouldn't trust him she'd always be worried that he's gonna cheat on her or something so there would never be that trust there but she just but well, she can feel that trust with luca so she's come to the decision that she is going to give up on him um, but she doesn't, she just doesn't know how she's going to do it. So what she planned to do today was she's going to ask him out, um, not on a date, but just to hang out and just chill in a sense, um, with each other, just, just to get back to that friendship they had, because she doesn't want to lose him as a friend, because if they hate each other, it wouldn't work out between her and her brother, right? That, that, that is her so-called quote-unquote soon-to-be boyfriend's brother. So she's going to have to be friends with him. So she's going to go out to him, kick him out, and just try to make peace with him, in a sense. Just so they can be cordial, in a sense. Um, is it going to kill her? Kind of. But she likes him. She really does like Luca. And I think that's the right decision that she's come up with. And then she's also planning on going home today. She doesn't know if she's going to stay or if she's going to go back home, but she did call her grandpa. Actually, no, she used to actually text her um, grandpa and let her know she was okay. She just stayed over at a friend's house. Um, so we're going to send him a text just to tell him, like, yo, we're, I'm just at my friend's house. I'm doing fine. And she's going to call him, I guess, too. Because he was like, let me hear your voice. <laughs> because he's, he's actually, like, um, honestly, Devin's paranoid to think that, you know, that, um, Oh, it's, oh geez. Yeah, I need to switch his clothing. I don't have my my game on full, so that's what happens. Oh geez. Um, we are gonna go ahead and um, we're done talking to him. We're gonna go ahead and go out. We're gonna step in. Okay, we good? He's gonna be. And then we do that, we're gonna go ahead and romantic real quick and give him a kiss. Give him a kiss real quick. If he accepts it or not, let's see. He accepted it. That's sweet. Okay. She really likes him. She really does. Um, she wants to get to know him real quick, so I guess we can do that. More friendly. More friendly. Um, more. More. Get to know, I guess. Because that's what she wants to do. And she wants to become flirty, which we'll have to do later. But, um, okay, and then we're going to romantic more and embrace him. Don't come out the washroom, dude. Please. Please. It's not the time. Oh, Lacey, oh, Lacey texted us. That's sweet. But, um, is my game frozen? I think it is. I think it is. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Now anyway, so that's fine. We'll, we'll talk to him later. But let's go ahead and we're gonna head off to... I don't know where we should go to. Um, hmm. Let's, let's go back to the ice cream shop. <laughs> let's have ice cream at something like something in the morning. Sure, let's go for it. Like eight something. No, yeah, eight something in the morning. Let's go have some ice cream. Um, I could take him for breakfast, but that is way too expensive for my taste. So we're just gonna get head over to the ice cream shop and talk with some ice cream. It's never too late or early to eat ice cream. So we're gonna go ahead and go with, oh geez, that was a mistake. <laughs> I have no clue she did that. Um, we're gonna go with Stefan. And we're just gonna go there, we're gonna chat. We're gonna 
try to become friends with him. We're gonna be like, listen, we're gonna root for you. In a sense, you know, she's she's starting to mature. She's soon gonna be in grade 11. So she's starting to mature, you know, in a sense that she realizes that she can't force a dude to like her. And it's kind of sad that she's been trying to this whole time. Um, but she realizes that he doesn't like her and that there's someone that he does that really does like her. And he should pro she should probably give him a chance instead of trying to make the dude that doesn't like her, like her, right? Yeah, in a sense, that's what she's thinking. Anyway, she's gonna go ahead and she's going to, um, he's feeling tired, so we'll discuss, um, we'll discuss uncomfortable mood with him, because I feel like he's feeling uncomfortable in a sense, maybe because he's tired. I have zero clue, but, um, we're gonna see what's up with him, compliment his outfit, you know, um, more friendly. <laughs> Ask him about his day. We're gonna try to be nice with him. And we're just gonna talk about everything that's like crazy scheme, like everything that's going on. Like, she's like, I liked you. I liked you a lot. <laughs> like, a real lot. And you didn't let me back. And you know what? I'm okay with that. But can you not tell your brother how old I am? Like, can you leave that up to me? Like, sure. He's gonna hate you once he finds out. So just, then let I'll, I'll tell him it's like we better tell him soon because my brother ain't going to jail for you. You're fine, just don't just don't tell him. It's like whatever. Sato, keep your mouth shut. We're gonna pretend Sato didn't see this because he doesn't need to go back and tell his parents. Like we're just talking to a, a guy friend. He's a teenager. We good. Um, she's like this is gonna break my heart to do, but it has to be done, doesn't it? Like, yeah, it does. It's like friends, friends. Give props. You see, she's dying inside to say this. Like, this is her first love, guys. It hurts. It really does hurt to know that it didn't work out. It really hurts. And I'm proud of her for admitting that it didn't work out. And they're gonna... She's gonna give them props. Like, yeah. Friends? Friends. So, I get so between us, right? It's like, yeah, it is. But hey, it's okay. We good, right? We good. So they ended, oh, see, they ended their relationship, they're not there, they are friends now, and she's gonna give him a hug because she's happy she got to talk to him at a friend level, and I think that's what he needs right now, what she needs is more of a friendship with him than a relationship, because even though she's feeling him, he ain't feeling her for some reason, so it's best to just leave it the way it is and call it a day. Hold up, let me restart these people, because they need to be reset, and reset, and then let's go over here and let's on with the story. And then we're going to more friendly, um... Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go fix something in my game, but all is good. So right now we left off. Um, so they're pretty much, you know, coming to a closure. You know, they're like... She's pretty much giving her way, giving up her first love. Because it's, it's for the best. She needs to get over this quote-unquote obsession to move on with her life and she's just stuck right now in this rut which she needs to get off of so um they kind of she recalled it so right now they're just gonna hug it out because you know give each other props and then they're going to um hug it out because at the end of the day if she does get with his brother like i said before they have to be on good terms so hug it out you like friends friends oh no girl that ain't right why are you smiling why are they doing jesus <laughs> why are you kissing each other on the cheek no! No, that's not what it's supposed to be like. Come on, guys. I feel like there's just like attraction between these two. And even though he's trying to deny it, he knows it's true. He knows it's true. But they're gonna high-five it out. And you know, just... They're making amends, in a sense. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. They are friends. Um, kind of. In this situation, they are kind of friends in a sense okay so anyways they're gonna go over here and i actually want them to go ahead and um take a photo together why not take a photo with him and then right squad up here. and it's weird because like, before they have oh geez um they haven't been friends in how long now in a while and i'm glad they're back because they were before everything they were friends and so that's what she's gonna be she's going to be his friend <laughs> is that even possible she's going to try um and they're gonna squat up hey look at that guys they would have been so good together but it's okay it's fine we'll move on right we're gonna move on oh this is so sad the crush is go oh, i don't even know guys i don't know just putting that heart up okay it's kind of awkward but you know what everyone's having fun 
but uh, what we're gonna do is it's Saturday. She's kind of nervous, but um, she needs to go for a jog real quick. Oh Jesus, this fish. Oh <laughs> no, thank you. But what we're gonna do is I don't know. We just need to like come somewhere and think, you know, just have a little moment to ourselves. Like she did good, guys. She did very good. She pretty much gave up something she's been trying for, like. Guys, just imagine your first crush at like the age of how old and then it actually was real and then in a blink of an eye it, it wasn't anymore and she had to give that up. And now she has to go home and face the music for all of this. Um, she has had a wild weekend and she's about to face it and you know what she's going to do? Actually, before she does anything, I think she's actually going to... Um, She's gonna call her brother because, I don't know, I guess she's learning to rely on him a bit and I guess she's learning that he's been through some bits and maybe him his wisdom can help her with this i heard you became good yet Paige is sick um but he's just like she's talking to her brother like what should i do man i screwed up dad's going to kill me he's like listen just calm down everything's good like you can stay with me for a little bit like just go you need to see him. you guys need to work this out y'all need to be mature people like they you want them to take you seriously so you have to like you know, you have to, you have to come to a conclusion, and if you don't, then it's just gonna drag on. She is gorgeous, by the way, honestly. She's a beautiful sim. They did so good, Lacey and Marcelo. It's so good. And even looking at her, she's like, oh god, I'm not ready for this. So she's gonna call her brother one time, she's like, Lace, what's this? Um, oh no, she's going through a mood swing, oh god. <laughs> what a perfect time for a mood swing. But, uh, we're gonna do that, and then she's going to, um, she's gonna send a text to her dad. You know, maybe this mood swing is coming from all that's going on. Like, she's just feeling empty inside. Like I said, she just gave away her first love. Maybe she's just feeling empty inside. Maybe that's why the mood swing has come in. And you know what? She needs her mom. She needs her dad. She just needs her family right now. So she's going to go ahead and send text like, Dad, um, I'll be home in a little bit. Don't kill me. <laughs> oh, let's have a little prayer. Okay, yep. See, she is going home. So see, she after that text, she knew. So... We're gonna head off back. She's so excited to see Rocky again, but she's also so scared to see her dad. I would be scared too. Like, her dad is gonna put the fear of God in her. Hopefully not. We'll just have to wait and see. But, um, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the house and see what's going to happen next, guys. Who's nervous? Am I the one who's nervous right now? I hopefully doesn't go too bad. Hopefully Finn doesn't tell, because Finn was, um, he was Martella's good friend, but I highly doubt he's gonna tell her because that would look bad because he has a wife so i'm pretty sure that's not gonna come up and she, like i think that was like the breaking point she, like she, she she like she's a smart girl everyone knows that kalia is a smart girl so, so she has been making some really dumb and rash decisions and she's not proud of it and i guess now it's all just coming back to her and she's learning from it it's a learning process um but she just wants her dad to look at her and be like i made a mistake and you did too but can we move on from it and I know her mistake was bigger because she ran away, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm hella nervous, but it's time. They need to speak, and speaking they will do. So let's go ahead. Okay, items removed. Oh yeah, because I switched up my CC. Hopefully nothing bad was removed. Oh look, it's Ro Oh, go see Rocky! Oh, that's sweet. He's talking to Flay. Oh my god, they still need to shower. <laughs> Have they not been taking care of you? I'm pretty sure they have. I just see it's been dirty. Oh, Flay, calm yourself. Calm yourself, Flay. Ew, ew, not to your dad. That is that is weird. She's like, wait, is that who I think it is? Click. <laughs> Kiana's home. Oh, why don't you go over here and um, can we give her a loving hug? Okay, sorry about that. But first thing, so what happened was the lot was, uh, that they were on was kind of glitching out on me. So I ended up having to um, move them to another lot. So they decided to go ahead and meet up for coffee. Um, I thought that'd be the best place for them to go ahead and chill and talk to pretty much. So anyway, she's going to go over here and um, complain about parents, no. But she's going to go over and um, just was like... Can we, get, we can give him a loving hug right here. Give him a loving hug. Because honestly, she's like, Daddy, I'm so sorry. Honestly, she is, she, is, she is really sorry about what happened and what's going on. And she's like, I'm so sorry, Dad. He's like, listen, pumpkin, I love you. And I'm mad at you. I am so unbelievably mad at you right now. You don't understand. But at the end of the day, I care about your well-being more than me being mad at you. And I admit... 
don't be sad baby don't be sad come on and i admit that i said some things i shouldn't have said but please don't be sad come on like my little girl don't be sad okay come on smile for me it's like dad really <laughs> it's not time for that it's like okay i'm sorry but still oh jeez, this is not going well she is so upset that mood swing has really got her all types of messed up right now but um he is going to somewhat like express his memoration for it be like listen i love you and you know i love you and nothing's gonna change that and yes i went over line and you did too she's like yes you're right i did go over line too but to the end of time i will love you till the death till death do its part i will love you you are my daughter and no matter what i got your back and i'm sorry that i went a little far and said you went too far but next time don't run away come on now you never run away like that's the one th you, you understand how scared i was like hold up he's gonna actually be mean but not like a mean mean thing he's just like gonna argue with her like do you understand how scared i was like he's mad right now like he's trying to stay calm but he's a little furious because he was scared to death like do you understand how mad i was i was i just like he's just getting all his like it's he's trying to stay calm he's like but you never listen to me you never understand me and it's just they're going back and forth again and i guess they, they need this just to let everything out you know all the emotions all the anger oh geez but honestly they have their differences but at the end um i feel like they need to they need to argue it out they need to to really say what they really feel because if they keep on running around it it's just it's never gonna get fixed <laughs> she's like really oh jeez she's like listen i understand what you're gonna say but you but dad i ran away because of what happened between me and you it wasn't because of anything else listen to me no one else it's my argument <laughs> oh jeez this is not working they're ch oh god this is worse than I thought it would be. I thought they would come to a conclusion at least. I guess not. What's this? No winning. Oh, no, no winning scenario. Neither of them got their points across. But you asked for advice. Okay, I wonder what advice she's gonna ask now after all this. Like, listen. Um, no one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother any? Why bother anything anymore? Oh, jeez. I'll always love you. Life is a thing. Cause she's like that. No one loves me. I guess after. I guess she's really feeling this after like losing like the guy she likes and now her dad's not like her. She just feels like no one appreciates her and I don't know. He's like, I'll always love you. People like you. Look around. Life is pain. Just keep going. Oh no. Um, I want to say that but this at the same time. People like, I want to say I'll always love you and people like you and people like you. Just look around. Can I like see both of both? <laughs> I feel like both of them will do this one. I'll always love you. And I guess she needed to hear that, and he's gonna come over here, and he's going to, um, parent, can we, um, brighten up her day, and he, like I said, even though they don't see eye to eye on this argument, he still cares for her, like, that's his little girl, that's his daughter, he's, that's his first daughter, he ain't gonna cut her off for what he did, of course he's pissed off, but he would never, ever cut her off. And he's just gonna try to make that clear and then um you'll be okay that's sweet for saying that and then um we will go ahead and let's flatter her he's gonna compliment her and then we're going to like try again to make her feel better i have no clue it's gonna work i highly doubt it um and then not we're going to go ahead and give her a loving hug and then she's gonna actually um give a loving hug it's like listen Come on, you'll be fine, baby girl. Come on. You good? He's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry I've been acting this way. I've, I've just been going through a lot. Sorry about that, dad. He's like, that is fine, babes. <clears throat> yeah, my little girl. I'm glad they came up to this conclusion. They needed it. They really did. Um, and she's going to go ahead. I wish we could. Can we apologize for everything? I wish we could, like, apologize for everything that happened between them. And I'm glad that the relationship went up. And they deserve an I need another hug from them another hug come on give your dad another hug i'm glad okay i think lacy was more of the one that wanted them to talk no um where's lazy now lazy why don't you come out here what's this oh she wants to go give her a dog she's like look at her she is so happy she's like good 
good. They're not arguing anymore. I need to switch her hair. Her hair looks so weird on her. I don't know. I just need to switch it, but I'll, 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 I'll do for now. But she's so happy right now. She's like, yes, they finally flipped and made up. What's this? He's gonna go listen to- no, go ahead and hug your daughter. She really needs that hair change. Wow, she looks weird. <laughs> I guess I'm not used to her, but she's gonna go ahead and give like, oh baby, I'm so glad to see you're okay. What's this? Think about family member. Not now. Um, why don't you go ahead and brighten up, brighten up her day and then um, give her a deep compliment and then give her another loving hug. I don't know, she's just happy that everything's kind of worked out between the two of them. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's better than it used to be, so she will take that any day. Um, just all hugs. She's like, I'm glad you two fix it up. I'm glad to see you're okay. And you scared me, you know? See, they're not, they're not, they're still mad at her about the whole running away thing, but they're just, it's not the time right now. <laughs> they just got into good foots, but she's definitely not off the hook yet. And she's like, you're still, you're not off the hook, John. There's still a lot we gotta talk about for right now. You decent. What's this? It's going through a phase. Oh jeez, she's not okay right now. But anyways, what she's gonna do though is, what's this? She's gonna, oh, she's gonna go hug her mom. Come here, baby. Oh, I'm so happy you're home. Okay, but anyways, wait, who's watching us? Oh, it's you. <laughs> well, anyway, she's gonna say, or tell her mom at least, that, um, she is it was okay if she can actually like um so i called keon today and he told me that he has been living with his girlfriend and that they have some extra room so i was wondering if i could maybe stay at their place tonight you know just move in with them for a little bit i just i just need some breathing room and of course i'll always come and check out you guys it's just he invited me and he said i could come so that is that okay um <laughs> that's cool with you guys can i and they're like we need to think about it <laughs> um we definitely need to think about that but anyways um that's next to think about but anyways i'm happy that it worked out between all three of them they needed that chat she's very happy i kind of want to go into cash right now and change her hair but i'll do that some other time um and then there's sato oh jeez, there is sato she oh oh she needs oh yeah the whole situation with sato and thing you don't even know about that no one knows about it person that knows about it now is her jeez what's this i heard I heard you became friends with Crystal. Yeah, Crystal is our great aunt. Well, not a great aunt, but she is a great aunt, um, in a sense. So, um, what's this? So, wait, teen? Oh, no, she's the teen. Okay, my bad. So, why don't you go ahead and, um, I don't know. She really wants to go out with this Luke. She wants to go with Luca just to seal to make the day even better. But, I don't think tonight's the night <laughs> she can go. But I don't know. She doesn't, like, She. I think tonight she's going to go ahead and stay. I don't know what she's going to do right tonight. I think tonight she's going to go back home and stay with her grandpa tonight. Um, she loves her family, but she ain't ready to move back in yet, in a sense. You know? I don't know. I guess she could say she likes her freedom. Um, of course, Keon and Marcelo is, like, Marcelo's not okay with her, like, sleeping. Not at home, but, you know, it's with her dad, so I guess he's okay with it in that sense. But we're going to go ahead and tell them, quote-unquote, that we're going back to the house, but in real honesty, we're gonna go check out on Luca. <laughs> on real honesty, well, honestly, we're, we're quote unquote going back to um, Grandpa's house um, because that's where she's staying right now. But we're quote unquote gonna go ahead and see. Um, the guy, she's kind of fancying right now. <laughs> Why not? Um, I know the age difference is gonna. Oh, okay, he's not home. Beautiful. Okay, no, we're not taking him with us. Oh, nope. But um. So, what's his name again? Stefan's not home, so they have the apartment to themselves, which is beautiful. Super excited about that. Um, hopefully the other guy doesn't come home soon because <laughs> don't really want him there, to be completely honest with you. Uh, what's this say? Sorry. My phone, I just got a message. Sorry about that. What the? Ooh, okay, we good. We good, we good, we good. But yeah, super excited for tonight. She, I know people are like, she's breaking the rules again. She just got in her, really, 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 hold up. Or pretend like you didn't show up. Where is asked to leave? MC, um, MC cheat, makes him leave. Okay, and let's go knock on the door. Deuces, my bad. Deuces, okay, he's gone. Oh, what's wrong? Pixel is so sick. We definitely need to take him somewhere. Wait, is he even home? That's the question. Okay, he is home. Okay, why don't we go over here 
and do that. And then we're going to brand up his day. And it's gonna like, okay, there you go. He's good, he's done. Anyways, you see guys, I don't know. I'm happy that she chose, like finally, like she decided to give him a chance. I'm happy for that. But anyways, when we're doing that, let's go ahead and take a photo with him. And then we're going to, um, she's going through a really rough patch, isn't she? Pull him a kiss. Oh, you really just want, what's this? She wants to woohoo with them. Girl, really? <laughs> Maybe she liked it more than she thought she did. Um, more romantic. Oh, I feel so bad for Blue and them. We're gonna just fix their needs. Cheat, make happy. Cheat, make happy. Are you gonna really take out the trash at this time of night? Really, <laughs> the girl you like comes over here will take out the trash. What's this? We'll take a photo with him and then what's this wait oh no we ain't trying for baby heck no um yeah there's no more room in this household so she can't even do anything uh what's this they're cute together though i think they are really cute even though he's hella older than her i think they're a great couple um so anyway she is really dying though she really wants a woohoo so let's go ahead and sneak in a little boohoo real quick because I really do want them to go out though a little bit later. Go out for some maybe some karaoke and some Chinese food before their brother gets home. Who knows? But they're gonna go have some fun. But we have to get home before 8 o'clock. <laughs> That's the thing. We have to get home before them because we actually need to text our grandpa telling him that we're out with friends. Which is kind of technically true because we are friends with him, right? So I guess <laughs> that isn't a lie. But I guess this is kind of a more than a friends thing at the situation. Um... I don't know if she, if she will end up like asking him out or not, who knows, but we'll just have to wait and see. Oh no! Pixel, don't look! Don't look, Pixel! Daddy's doing something dirty. Um. <laughs> oh jeez. Honestly. <laughs> Pixel. This dog is so nosy, like, ooh, I see limbs, I see, I smell sweat, I smell love. <laughs> Honestly, I saw hearts. I don't even know. But this dog is so fast. He is so fast. He wants to know exactly what's going on, what's going on, what, what position they're in. Oh, jeez. The sounds. <laughs> Jesus. They, they, they really killing it, honestly. <laughs> but she's feeling good. What's this? She wants to kiss Luca. That's sweet. You up? My, oh, no. He's asleep. Oh, God. No, you can't go to sleep either. Child, you cannot go to bed in his sleep. You can't go to sleep in his bed. Come on. Get up. What's this? She wants to chat with him. She wants to have the chat. But um, why don't you go here romantic more and give him a, a sweet little kiss. Um, but she wants to have the chat. The quote unquote chat chat. If you know what I mean. I'm joking. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I'm joking. I know exactly what I mean. But I think they're cute though. I really think they do technically really like each other. Um, get to know what's this say? Insult. She really doesn't like you. And what's this say? Um, she wants to take a photo with the Zons. Why would we take a fan with him? Zon. Why would I take a picture with him? I have no clue. But he's a cat lover. We're a dog lover. So you know, animal lover, close enough. I don't even think we can even take a pregnancy test because, yeah, I don't think, yeah, there's no more room in the household for anyway. So she is safe. She ain't expecting no babies, which is good. Um, at least not now. And then ask to just be friends. No, ask about who. She I guess she wants to know. Who knows? But um, I think we're actually gonna go out for dinner because we're both hungry. Well, at least she's hungry. And I guess since we're paying, we won't go by ourselves. We'll take him. Why not? Uh, but where should we go? I think we're gonna hit up the. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think we're gonna hit up the bistro. Now that's too fancy. And there's this restaurant, Hell's Kitchen. I think we might check out there. I haven't been there before, so I think that could be fun. So we'll go with Luca. Because um, we don't want to go by ourselves, like I said. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm actually very happy that she's getting her head right for once. Um, and she's realizing that she actually has a dude that likes her and she should like try at least, right? So let me see. Like honestly down below guys, I wanna know what do you guys think about the whole situation that's going on with her? Do you guys think she's making the right choice? Do you guys think that maybe she should actually try or maybe because the whole point of like getting close to like Stefan was to get revenge. But then she started liking him again and then she realized that no matter how much time she tried to get revenge, she's gonna end up liking the dude. So it's better just to call it off, right? Anyway, she's looking hella good. And um, why don't we go there and discuss interest with him? Ask him if he's hungry at least. But we gotta get home before like 9 o'clock at least, at least. So let's go ahead and request this table. 
Okay. Yo, we gotta go eat. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> we got three hours for them to cook, get our sit down, order our food, and then go. This is possible, who knows, but we'll have to just wait and see. It's a really nice restaurant though, I'll give you that much. Very nice. And who are you? Bob? No, my bad. I thought that was um Bob Pancakes for a second there, but it's not. Oh, and our grandma's here. I don't think, um, what's his name again? I don't think Marcelo even talks to his mom anymore. Like, I think he never has actually in, in the first place. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and reserve this table. Oh, he actually got dressed up. He actually is wearing a suit. What? Um, but let's go ahead and go sit down. And then we're going to, first thing we're gonna do is order a meal. Order for table. Ooh, but she's feeling good though. She's feeling hella nice. Yo, order for table. We don't got all day. Let's let us be friendly with them. We can definitely be friendly with them. Okay, so we're gonna order with our fake ID some wine. It's cheap, right? <laughs> we don't got that much money. Oh my god, that's a lot. I like that. So she's gonna get the pasta and then he will get that. You know what? Why not? I hopefully it comes out good. This is some high class food, so like I said, hopefully it comes out good, but you never know. Uh, and with this, she wants to get up her charisma level and she wants to no we're not gonna leave we're on a date um schedule a date we're actually kind of on a date so in a sense we are but we just went off for lunch but this thing is hella fancy what's this return to why we return to her lot we're ordering food make out with him not the time for that but we can go ahead and um romantic blow him a kiss oh he's flirting with us that is sweet be flirted with they are hella cute i'm really happy with her choice at least for now at least <laughs> so, no we're not gonna start a club meeting we're going to what's this um take a selfie no we're not going home they're hurt they're flirting on a hectic level right now um let's see can we what's this she's gonna comp oh dang compliments appearance and then gets deep conversation complain about everything well that's nice to do on a date ask about love life i actually haven't even asked is he single ask if you're single that'd be terrible if you weren't son um where's he get to know that's what i want to get to know there we go let's get to know more about him let's be funny with him tell him a dirty joke yep that's how to get the night started and then um we're going to joke about old times and let's see, funny. Uh, da -da -da, writing up his day. Okay. Question, are you single? Soulmates. No way. They have the soulmates trait. That was quick. He, I know he's an attorney, but is he single? I think he is. Yes, he is single. Good for him. <laughs> Thank God he's not dating anyone. Because I have no clue what that, what, what that I don't even know if that make her. That part such a bad state takes we can definitely take that and she wants a photo she wants a selfie. Um we can do that in a sec. Let's see romantic, let's pull my kiss again. And then she's gonna go ahead and take a selfie and then take a photo with him. Why not? What's this? The Sato's here? You gotta be kidding me. Sato is not here. You gotta be flipping kidding me. Hold up, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Please don't tell me he's here. Please, please, please. Where is this dude? Oh my, is that him right there? He is right there. Oh god, maybe he hasn't seen us yet? I have zero clue, but I'm not happy right now. This is not good. That fi that, that, that picture's kind of creepy, to be honest with you. But, um... Where is he though? Sato's here? This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Oh jeez, don't turn around. That's good. They're actually on a date. Wait! Guys! They're on a date. Maybe they're making... Look at them. But anyways, they're on a date. Maybe they're like, talking things over? Do you think they're maybe they're talking things over, guys? I don't know, but they're on a date, so... Hopefully they are. Um, Crystal, let's have her back here and say, listen, leave them alone. Let them have a good time. Um, okay, our food's here though. Can we um, take a photo with it? Hold up, before you eat, take a photo. And then eat, because she really wanted to. And then drink, what's this? No, we're gonna take a photo of Sato. 
It says she wants to make out with him. We're not making out with a dude. Come on. No, no ice cream. She really likes ice cream. We might have to buy her one. What's this? Oh, she wants to talk to her aunt, but not now. We're on a date. Anything you want to do with him? I'm guessing no, but she really wants to talk to her aunt. So I might have to do that in a second. Who knows? How bad? Yeah, she really wants to talk to her aunt. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and romantic. Let's not attempt to seduce, but we're going to um, flirt with him again. And then we are going to. Ooh, it's 9 o'clock. Hold up. Send a text. <laughs> send a text to your grandpa and tell him. Um, send a text and tell him um, we're out eating dinner with some friends. Sorry, we're going to be home at maybe 11. We are gone past the right time. He's going to get so mad. Girl, you just got on the right foot. Don't don't be messing this up already. Come on. Oh jeez, who's sitting beside us? Okay, thank God, somebody I think it is. Where's Sato and Lacey? Oh God, they're back there. Is he is he looking at us? Okay, I don't think they, I don't think they even paying attention to us, which is good. But they're 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 being all romantic. I'm happy. They might they might actually work things out. Who knows? Um, if only she. Um, oh, well, that's sad. It's okay. She's good though. But um, let's go ahead and romantic. Uh, boom, another kiss. What's this? Take a photo with Elton. No. No. What's this? Um, buy. Oh, heck no. We can't. She can't afford that. Yo, hurry up. Is he going to the washroom? Are you going to the washroom? Okay. Okay. He's not looking at us. He's not looking at us. He's walking right past us. You're naked. Why? Why? I'm not even going to. But she, anyway, she's gonna go ahead and use the washroom real quick. Did, he, did they see her? Did they see her? Okay, they're not paying attention. They are. They don't even care. They don't even see us. Booyaka. Okay, but we need to make an escape from this bathroom. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we need to get home at 11. So we got 30 minutes. And um, what's this? She wants to make out with him. I don't know how to make out with somebody without using the chair and the closet. And we don't have a chair or a closet, so I don't know how that's going to work. What's this? We can't make out with him right now, child. Something else. Okay, what's this? Take a photo. No, no. Let let her be on her date. Um, make out. She really wants to make out with him, but I don't know how to. We can always stay over at his house, but I don't. I don't want her to break that trust today. I think that trust was just made. It ain't ready to be broken. So I think we're actually going to end off the meal here. She just wants to make out with him. Jesus. Um, what's this? Let's go ahead and um, end bill. Okay, great. And then, are they looking? Ooh, ooh, ooh! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! I don't think they. I don't think. Oh no! He saw us! No! Oh, uh, he saw. He's like, wait, Chris. Wait, what are you doing here? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Sato, Sato, please. He's like, wait. What is she doing here? With him? Are you still thinking? Oh my god, Sato, please, we just started getting on the good foot, don't, we just started to, Sato, don't do this, give her a like, hi, Sato, um, someone farted or something, oh jeez, someone smells, it's like, hi, listen, can you, like, please not tell my dad I'm here, please, be like, nope, not happening, your dad deserves to know this, like, why are you being such a tattletale, Sato, please, stop, it's like, she's like, um, Hold up. Can we call him over here? <laughs> uh, oh jeez. Uh, how are we gonna do this? I don't even know. Um, but, uh, please don't tell my dad. He's like, I'm sorry. He deserves to know. He shouldn't have told him a lie. Why should I tell him something? She's like, do I have something to him? She's like, she's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, do I have something for him to tell? I don't know, guys. Would Sato actually go ahead and tell? Like, he's having such a good date. Why would he want to mess up ours? Ah, I feel so bad. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But anyways, we're just gonna head off. We're gonna actually have to, we have to head off home. We have to go home anyway. So hopefully, he won't tell. I hope. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I <laughs> hope he doesn't. But uh, we're gonna head home now. Uh, we're gonna leave him. Actually, we're actually gonna let him meet our grandpa. I don't know. She just feels like 
she doesn't want to tell a lie anymore and keep him a secret so she's gonna go ahead and bring him to go meet his grandpa <laughs> why not this is such a spur of the moment thing i don't think this is a good idea but she's gonna do it anyways because she's trying she's trying quote unquote trying to live with no secrets but you never know what's gonna happen <laughs> you honestly never know so let's go ahead and invite him to the house real quick see what's up with him oh i'm nervous why am i so nervous i have no clue i have zero zero absolute zero clue what's about to happen but hopefully it ain't too bad <laughs> ah the loading screen though okay but anyways guys i think Oh geez, our grandpa's outside waiting for us. Oh god. But anyways guys, I think I'm actually going to end off this part here. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave your comments and your opinions down below what you guys think is going to happen next. What do you guys think Devin is going to do? What do you guys think Marcella is going to do when she finds this out? Oh god, this is going to be bad. But let me know your comments down below and I'll talk to you guys on the side as always. I'm out. This is peace. Have a great day. I am out. Lights.